Hi everyone. In the today's session, we are going to discuss about the heterotropic nutrition. In the last video, we finished the photosynthesis and about autotropic nutrition. And today, we are going to see about the heterotropic nutrition. In the heterotropic nutrition means, okay, organisms which are unable to prepare their own food and depending upon other organisms for the sake of food and that type of nutrition is called as heterotropic nutrition and that organisms are called as heterotropes. Okay, organisms which follow this heterotropic nutrition are called as heterotropes. Okay, so in the heterotropes, so we human beings, if we are not preparing our own food, we are depending either plant or animal. Okay, plant pino, animal pino depend on them for the sake of food. So we are heterotropes. Like other animals which depending upon others for the sake of food are called as heterotropes. Okay, the organisms are called as heterotropes. Okay, especially these heterotropic nutrition are of three types. Okay, majorly as per our textbook. Okay, uh, saprophytic nutrition, holozoic nutrition and parasitic nutrition. Okay, already we discussed this in the first video little bit and again we will discuss again once again. Okay, in the saprophytic nutrition, the organisms which follow this saprophytic nutrition are called as saprophytes. So, especially fungi, yield, uh, yeast, molds, etc. are the saprophytes majorly. Okay. So, what do you mean by saprophytes means? The organisms which majorly digest the food outside the body. Okay. Outside the body, the food get digested and that type of nutrition is called a saprophytes. And take it in the body, outside the body, food digest out of the body. simple food ni adi intake this kundu, the body local this kundu nan mata. So, kabati mundu digestion. So, complex food, simple convert time, Taravata, it is this kundun, intake inside the body. Okay. So, Dani Maravana go saprophytic nutrition bilustana. Allah saprophytic nutrition follow your organisms name at Namu saprophytes and bilustana. Especially maximum fungi and Nikuda saprophytes, fungi and protozoan like yeast, even Nikuda intend a saprophytic in nature. Okay, that is about the saprophytes. So, they are depending upon others for the sake of food. That is why the saprophytes are also including in the heterotropic nutrition. Come for the second one, holozoic nutrition. Okay, holozoic nutrition is nothing but the organisms which take their food by the mouth. Okay, mouth dwara and mouth na special organ develop avadamu and special intake point undadamu. Illa thiskodam da name at namaram holozoic nutrition and pilustunamu. Okay, especially holozoic nutrition ki saprophytic nutrition ki one main difference untundi that is anti and ante saprophytic nutrition lo. Mundu digest hai, taravata ingestion out of it. Ikad end and mundu ingestion hai, taravata digest out of it. The digestion takes place inside the body. Okay, inside the body, the food get digested. That is in case of a holozoic nutrition. So, holozoic nutrition followed by higher animals. Okay, higher animals, like mammals, humans, buffaloes, goats. So, in higher animals, any koda follow the holozoic nutrition. Okay, so and come for the third one that is parasitic nutrition. So, in parasitic nutrition, and entity parasite relationship, it is like a uh, host and guest relationships. But, if you guest, it is a little harmless because a guest, a paying guest, there is no use of that guest to the host. Okay, so these parasites are changes, so they derive nutrition from the plant and animal without killing them. And what they direct to kill you. What nunchi what juices such chedamu, what nunchi blood such chedamu, like what the tissues nithinadamu, ila inti and depending upon what I work body mina depend I pay direct to the kill chay kundun tayan mata. Idi ilagi continue with sometimes slowly there is a chance of killing, but directly kill jesse and proka organism nipanam depend outana manta holozoic nutrition lay intama. So we are killing that uh, uh, organism and we are eating. Adi pana akukural kawachu, like a pote hen kawachu, like a pote goat kawachu, and completely kill jesse intamana. In case of a holozoic nutrition. But in case of a parasitic nutrition, we direct ka depend out on it, but they are not killing them. What ni kill chay it leather matter, what the body lo okay, guest gaundi, and the water juices ni suctures to nan, but juices ni gani plant kate juices and antam. Other animal kate manaventi blood ni suctures, the tissues ni eat just, the manam this kuna food ni avidin to untai. So ila manaki. Concham harmless ni cause chest the host up and depend on the art nutrition name at Namanamanta parasitic nutrition and pilustana. Okay, then the best examples of Manalisa Taravata plant law at the Kaskota is the best example parasitic plant. 
అందుకనే మనం ఆటోట్రోపిక్ న్యూట్రిషన్ చెప్పుకునేప్పుడు హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ప్లాంట్స్ ఆర్ ఆటోట్రోప్స్ అని చెప్పాము వై బికాస్ సమ్ ప్లాంట్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ సమ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ ఓకే ఇన్సెక్టివోరస్ ప్లాంట్స్ అని ఉంటాయి ఇక్కడ చూస్తే కస్కుటైజ్ అ పారాసైటిక్ ప్లాంట్ నాట్ పర్ఫామ్ ఎనీ ఆటోట్రోపిక్ యాక్షన్ ఆటోట్రోపిక్ యాక్షన్ పర్ఫామ్ చేయదు ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ లీచెస్ జలగలు అంటాం కదా లీచెస్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో పారాసైటిక్ ఇన్ నేచర్ నెక్స్ట్ టేప్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఓకే ద టేప్ ఫార్మ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ జనరల్లీ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద బాడీ ఆఫ్ ద హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ అండ్ స్లోలీ ద ఈట్ అండ్ ద ఫుడ్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఈట్ అండ్ ఫర్ అస్ ఓకే సో మన కోసం తిన ఫుడ్ని అవి తీసుకుంటూ ఉంటాయి అనమాట టేప్ ఫార్మ్స్ రౌండ్ ఫార్మ్స్ అట్లాంటివి సో ఇవన్నీ కూడా ఏంటి అని అంటే కమ్స్ అండర్ ద న్యూట్రిషన్ కాల్డ్ పారాసైటిక్ న్యూట్రిషన్ ఓకే దీస్ ఆర్ అబౌట్ ద హెట్రోట్రోపిక్ న్యూట్రిషన్